Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden. And I have an update for you today with the hydroponic apple tree that's being grown in the little glass Kratky jar. This plant is about four months old now, maybe a little bit more than that. And it's gotten quite big. Let me take a step back so I could really show you. This thing is about 14 inches tall now maybe 15 and it's looking pretty healthy not the best situation right now because I'm having a little aphids battle that I'm dealing with these little guys are hard to see and as you see there's a bunch of brown tints all over on the leaves look at that And down below, it's even worse. And unfortunately, this is damages that I sustained from spraying that soap on the plant. It definitely did not like that. And I had to change it and to change the mixture that I was using. I think I had a little bit too much of a concentrate of the soap and it was really damaging for the plant. I was spraying this thing about every two, three days, once every two, three days. And I had to lower that down to about once every week now, just to make sure the plant stays alive. I was very worried this thing was gonna die like these strawberry plants right here. And unfortunately, these guys were the cause of this entire situation. They were taken from outdoor root strawberries that were growing indoors for about three four months for me everything perfectly fine and then one day aphids and the apple tree was standing very close by to the strawberries and the leaves were touching each other and they transferred over got gave themselves a new home so i've been spraying this thing down every once a week now with just a little neem oil and some water and that's it and it's been doing very well it's killed off most of the aphids I'm I don't think there's anything really moving around right now I'm just waiting for the new eggs to hatch if there's anything new and spray those down immediately this way you want to kill off everything because it's not a one-time spray this is a constant battle that's going to be going on for a few sessions but if you look up top, you see three little small leaves that are forming. So the plant is definitely growing. It's doing well. It's continuing to put on new, new growth. A lot of beautiful side shoots, as well as the base is thickening up. It's getting nice and strong. When you, when you squeeze it and you feel it, it actually feels like a really strong branch. It's very healthy, very green. And as I mentioned earlier, this is grown in a little glass Kratky container with a little hyd hydrogen that holds the plant in place pretty much. But really, the roots that grow down make a big difference they're just as important down below as what's going on up top. So I really like growing hydroponically. This way I'm able to see both areas and I'm able to adjust if needed. And if I take a step back, you see here this plant was placed outside of my greenhouse here. And have two of them right next to each other basically. And unfortunately, I had to go on the outside in a little quarantine makeshift area to not infect the rest of my garden. So for now, this plant is going to be out here. And thankfully, it's getting little side lights from right here. It's coming down, so it's not too far away. So it's getting some type of light throughout the entire day. And it's going to continue its growth. 
but obviously that's not optimal for a long period of time. So I'm going to try to deal with this aphid situation as soon as possible and hopefully put this plant back on the inside of the greenhouse here so it could grow nice and healthy get the maximum light exposure it really deserves and continue to grow and as you see the nutrients are about to run out so I'm basically going to refill this container either tomorrow morning or tomorrow night depending on how fast it drinks up whatever's left in there it's about an inch and this is basically just a quart a quart size mason jar so nothing too big with a little wide mouth opening and fits a three inch net cup and this is a little hydroponic apple tree it's doing quite well indoors already grown for several months and I'm gonna continue its progress and continue its growth so hopefully in the next few weeks I should definitely kill off all of these aphids and this plant will go back in its home and really put on some big growth and you'll see a lot of difference in the next few months to come as this plant continues to grow and develop and look at that beautiful stem so if you have any questions leave them down below I'll do my best to answer everything and don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe thanks for watching